we're in Mesa, Arizona, outside of Phoenix, at our gym here. It's a warehouse. It's uh, not open to the public, so the pros get together and train. It's kind of a dirty, dingy gym. We love it. So what do we got today? Three rounds with him, like Flo. First one you do just by yourself yeah. to warm me up a little bit. Two, three is bad work. Bad work? Yeah. And not the spar. And then three spars. Spar. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Hinon's a, a big guy. You know, he's athletic. He has a knockout power, obviously, for striking. I feel like I'm more well-rounded. You know, I've been in this game a long time. You know, my, my ground game is one of the best in the heavyweight division, in my wrestling, in my grappling, in my ground and pound, you know. So I think, uh, you know, that's my ultimate strength, and I, that's his ultimate weakness. I'm ready? I'm ready? Let's go. I don't see this fight going so long. He's been fighting like five rounds for so long, so three, five minute rounds for him is like kind of much easier than normal. If you have a chance to knock him out, he'll try. If you have a chance to wrestle him, he'll try that. And even submission, I can see he try everything on this next fight. That's perfect. He hasn't been in those five round wars that I have been in. I've, I've fought countless championship fights, five rounds. I've been through it all in my MMA career. I've stood across from champions, former champions, and I've won most of them, you know? And so I feel like that's gonna come into play. My ground game's gonna come to play. My overall well-roundedness is gonna come into play, and it's gonna be a handful for him. Great job, boys, great job. Great job, champ. That was perfect. American Top Team, and it's a Monday for me. Uh, some boxing, really good camp. Injury free and ready to fight. Johnny's been doing this for all of eight to nine years now, and he's improved tremendously. Went from a wrestler to an all-around MMA fighter who's dangerous everywhere. You know, his work ethic is incredible, and that's why he is where he is today, champ. Across. He's like a sponge, you know, anything you tell him, he absorbs, he works on it, he studies film at home, he goes above and beyond what most fighters ask. Him. Originally I was a, a wrestler and I won a lot of my fights with wrestling, but as time has progressed I've gotten better with my striking and I've knocked some guys out and continuing to get it better and I think the best is yet to come. I think I'm going to put him away, uh, but if not, it's just going to be hell for three rounds. I feel great. I'm not getting tired at all. Yeah. Yeah, he's a striker. He's a decent striker. Nothing, nothing special. And, I mean, don't sleep on Johnny. He's a striker, too. He's definitely a striker. He's knocked out some guys. His gas tank is incredible. Like, he, this is a guy who never gets tired. So, uh, I think his overall workload will just be too much pressure for Impa. And we'll get him. Hoje eu tô aqui na, na American Top Team, começando aí o último, penúltimo treino antes da viagem. Fiz um excelente treino de boxe, fazer mais alguns drills agora. Super bem, feliz, preparado aí pra essa luta. Nossa. Ah, então, vejo essa luta como uma excelente oportunidade, um grande adversário pela frente. É, tô muito feliz aí em fazer a luta principal, com certeza dar esse show pra galera aí me motiva muito. That's collected out. This, this thing is active, brother. Yeah. Yeah. This thing is real. Yeah. When it's when it's it's a dust collector. When it, you ain't defending it. Around, walk, this walk thing around. is this thing is active, boy. I don't leave it. <laughs> this thing is active. It's a dust collector. Uh, this thing is active, bro. Today I'm gonna get get some rounding with my man Robbie Lala. You know, ain't nobody dangerous than him when it comes to throwing them overhand hooks. Yeah, Robbie's a dangerous dude. It's glad to have him here. Team leader and everything. <laughs> so. We're gonna see it again today, how we get down. Just helping him get ready, just trying to give him some good looks. Uh, trying not to get destroyed as I'm doing it. So he's long, he's strong, good wrestling, so it's a lot of work. Nice. Nice. Right. 
I've been working with him for four or five years now, just kind of building, learning from him, he's learning from me, and really it's just more the pressure that he wanted to feel, the pressure, the hooks, just that somebody who's just not going to run from him the whole time, even when I'm tired, I'm pressing him, trying to make him work, trying to get him better. Don't let me rest, don't let me rest in there. Yep. Working with a guy like Robbie Lawler is a confident booster because Robbie done it at the highest level possible that you could think of. So Robbie know it all. Off the fence, yep, off the fence, bump him. And I trust his knowledge and his input. So, you know, I look to him as a leader. Yep, pressure now, pressure with those legs, flatten him, flatten him. My confidence comes from all the hard work that I put in against like all the high level guys that fight in Bellator. I'm just killing these workouts and that's where my confidence comes from. It's just hard work and dedication. Good work though. Thank you. Really good work. You set me off, boy. Yeah. Just warm up. That wasn't a warm up. It was pressure. Just pressure, make you work, make you do the right <laughs> Really good round. As far as Biagio making his pro debut, his growth, it's real. I mean, you guys have seen it back home. You've seen what he's done. Um, so yeah, now it's time to challenge himself. is an exceptional athlete, like literally on the 1% scale when it comes to speed. Kid ran a 4-3-40 laser in high school. You can go look at how many football players run a 4-3 laser. It's not many. Um, and the ones that do are first round picks. So, his athleticism going back to his granddaddy, uh, his brother Nico. It's something that, you know, we want to utilize. You don't want to take that off the table. And uh, sometimes Biagio wants to be a fan favorite and a crowd pleaser, and he wants to bite his mouthpiece and throw down. And that's great for all you guys back home as a coach. Kind of makes me bite my teeth a little bit, but I expect big things from this kid, you know? This is the first of many. Flow, small steps. <laughs> Each camp, I'm getting better and better. I'm learning so many more things and trying them out. And each camp is just a more improved camp than the last one. So uh, yeah, feeling good. Everything's going great, and we're just getting ready to fight now. You're using this to just play with me. Play, right? but you remember me? It's a distraction too. Yeah, it's a distraction, and I need. Sometimes you can push hard, yeah, yeah, but I mean, you know, just yeah. A lot of times when I fight, I'm throwing as yeah. hard as I can. But, I but sometimes like, the guy so yeah. gonna be tired. Man. Yeah, it, and, and it's weird because the knockout punch feels like you're punching air. Yes. Like it's, it feels like you hit nothing. I've never fought overseas yet, but I'm super excited to fight in Saudi Arabia. You know, um, the goal is still the same. We're gonna go in there and just fight. <laughs> as simple as that. Oh, yeah, you know, Pedro, thank you. Reload, but always. Yeah. No way to make an entry without the belt. You know how it goes. Oh, man. It's beautiful up in here. How you doing? Hey, Jason. I'm Gino. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Gino. Yeah, so Carl, really? let me know that you're looking to get a suit. Yes, yes. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. well, I can help you out with that. All right, let's get it. Let's you do know? it. Any specific color that you were looking to get into? Anything that made me look stand out, you know, to these Saudis guys. And, you know, once I win, I want to definitely look good like a champion there we go look like money look there like you money. Go. <laughs> Perform for sure like money this one's a really nice bamboo color so we'll try this one on see how it fits and then kind of go from there okay looking sharp oh man i walked in there as a villain now i'm a superhero <laughs> i'm ready to cash some checks <laughs> everything looks great all right so let's try on the blazer let's see how this one feels he said, clean. <laughs> it's not where I'm going, where we're going. We're going to Saudi Arabia to take over. And while we're taking over, we're going to whoop ass, cash check, and take over. When I say cash check, I don't mean money. I mean everything that I'm putting out there. We're going to cash check on that. We're going to stand by our word. We're going to beat this guy down. Remember that. And remain welterweight champion. Something for that thing. Yep. You know, oh, you know what it is? Hmm. That belt. Let's get that belt. <laughs> <laughs> this is what it was missing. Yes. <laughs> oh, God, look at it.
No, Impa, of course, everybody knows the storyline. You know, uh, he went from getting a viral knock, knocked out to uh, winning a million dollars, uh, being the champion. So, of course, that's the script of a movie. So, Impa was very young in his career and he got like into big fights. Uh, but the good thing about him, when he got knocked out like that, he took it good, he took it like a man. He turned it into like of a desire to show everybody that he deserves to be uh, in the spot where he's at, you know? But it's a nice thing for everybody to see that if you just keep going and keep working hard and keep charging, you can change stuff, you know? And it's cool that somebody like that does it. He's a very, very nice guy, very humble, but uh, he's silence violence. And Johnny Eblen, excellent fighter, comes from a solid gym, American top team, and world well wrestling trains, you know, across the United States, across the world. Very balanced everywhere. He's smart. I respect him. And these are the fights you pray for. These are the fights that you pray that would come to fruition. When you go into that, that unknown land, that unknown territory, go into the wilderness, you're going to see different kind of beasts, different monsters. And, you know, you slay the giants, you slay the monsters, you slay the different beasts. And you keep moving forward, you set up camp and you move forward. And that's the beautiful thing to me about fighting. Warrior's greatest reward is the next battle. And man, it's like, yes, like, took this person out, took this person out. Yes, okay, well, here's Johnny Eblen, like, let's go. Coming here for the first time at ATT, you know, it was kind of unreal. I think it was such a good fit because of the relationships I built here with the coaches and uh, the team. What's up, brother? You know, they really welcomed me with open arms. Johnny had potential from the, the second I saw him. Obviously, he was a great wrestler, but you could just tell that he had the ability to fight. He is one of those guys that you have to actually tell him to leave because he'll be here all day. He's a workhorse and he's constantly playing with new techniques and grappling and striking and wrestling. He's really. Uh, of has evolved into like a phenomenal fighter and, and his work ethic is a big part of that. Literally in the first few months of training, he was going with some of the best guys in the world and holding his own. It, it was pretty impressive. It's really cool to see a guy who, who never trained mixed martial arts before he came here go from amateur to undefeated world champion. It'll be a three minutes out, one minute break. Looking for about six of them, we'll do time. Total wrestling, total grappling, just be smart. Champion versus champion. This is a lot of excitement. He doesn't get the attention he deserves, and I think he, now he's starting. People are finally looking to see this guy is the best out there. Good luck finding a hole in this guy's game because he, he's the best. Impa is just a tough, tough son of a man, and he likes to scrap a little bit. He likes to brawl. He's durable, but I'm just slicker, faster, better. I'm gonna beat out of him. Is yours? Is yours? Mm -hmm. I'm good. No, I'm good. You should just only tie rockets. I've been in this sport for a long time, and having good people around you in general is big. And I found that, you know, I found my coaching staff, my training partners, you know, and then obviously I have my family, and family's the ultimate. My wife is great. She's always there supporting me, helping me. You know, because I can be grumpy in camp, I can be selfish, you know, and so she's understanding on that, on, you know, that aspect, and it's just good to have a good family life. You know, the kids are playing uh, tackle football, both the boys. I know, you got it. My daughter's done uh, flag football, she's done, you know, dance, but they've all done jiu-jitsu. Oh, trying to get me. I feel like that's important. You know, I come from a wrestling background, and I want them to learn a combat sport, whether it be wrestling, jiu-jitsu, boxing. Good game, good game. You know, it's not my first time traveling around the world to go fight another man in, in a cage, you know, so I'm looking forward to this. We get in the, in the mindset, we're there to do a job. We get in that hotel, it's singular focus to go out there and get that win. So everything revolves around that one singular focus.